Good morning, friends. Are we ready for our song? Okay. Sing to Renny, celebrate Renny, see God's light in her. Sing to John, celebrate John, see God's light in him. Sing to Carly, celebrate Carly, see God's light in her. Sing to Merrick, celebrate Merrick, see God's light in him. Sing to you, celebrate you, see God's light in you. Sing to Alexi, celebrate Alexi, see God's light in him. Sing to all of us, celebrate all of us, see God's light in all of us. Sing to everyone, celebrate everyone, see God's light in everyone. All right, are you ready for a story? This is a story also that you guys should remember. Okay, remember the kind of land it is where Jesus lived, kind of like a desert, and he was doing a lot of traveling. Traveling to, do you remember? Jerusalem. And here is the road. It was a very long road, and everybody had to walk. And everybody wanted to hear Jesus talk wherever they went. People would come around to hear him talk. And of course, Jesus' disciples were always with him too. And the people would come to hear them talk and the disciples would help Jesus to organize the people. But sometimes other people wanted to hear and see Jesus speak as well. You know who these people are? Can you tell? They're a little bit shorter than the other people. They're children. And the disciples said, no, no, no kids. Jesus is an important person. Kids have to stay away. How do you think the kids felt? Not very happy. But you know what Jesus said? Let the children come to me. The disciples were like, okay, we're going to listen. Jesus wanted all the children to be able to come and see him and listen to him and to know the love of God that Jesus was talking about. We have some of this in our picture in our puzzle right here. In fact, Jesus said that little children always had to come to him and everybody, in fact, had to understand God and God's love the way a child does. Children were very, very important. How do you think those children felt when Jesus said, let the children come to me? And that's the kind of picture that we have in our picture behind the altar. Jesus and the children, just like you. Hmm. The grown-ups had to wait, not the kids. Now, let's put the grown-ups away. Even the disciples. And let's put the kids away. And then we'll move Jesus a little closer on his road to Jerusalem. But then we're going to have to put the road away. And Jesus. And Jerusalem and all of the desert area gets to go over here. Okay, are you ready for penny time? All right, let's see who has a penny for the box today. Let's see, Rennie has a penny. John has a penny. Carly has a penny. Merrick has a penny. You have a penny for the box too. And also Alexi. Are we good? I think we are. Thank you very much. Okay. And you know you have an activity today, and I don't have it. Could, is the activity over there anywhere? Is there one? Here comes our activity. It came in the mail, and this one is stickers. That's what fine. Let's stay with that. Thank you. These are stickers. They came in the mail. And there's tape there, but you can take the tape off, and each one of these little figures you peel off the back. Most of you kids know how this works. You've seen it before. And it's Jesus and a bunch of children. 
and you can stick them on there as ever you want. There are also a few rocks. Somebody wants to sit on a rock because it does show in our puzzle that Jesus is sitting down, probably to get closer to kids that are shorter. Okay, and it says, let the little children come to me. So that's our activity for today. Are you ready to fold your hands and say our prayer? Really? Okay. Let's see. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. This is our calendar of all the different Sundays in the church here. There was Christmas. Then there was the time of waiting for Easter and Easter, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six Sundays. Today is the seventh Sunday after Easter, and it's white, but look, next Sunday is red. It's a special Sunday called Pentecost, so next Sunday, I'm going to wear red, and if you have something red, why don't you wear something red too? We're going to be talking about something else that is red when we talk about Pentecost, okay? We'll see you then.